If you're watching this recording, it means that you have successfully registered and logged on to my math lab for Math 25. When you go to your course in my math lab, the main features that you will be using on the left hand navigation bar are the assignments and the gradebook. You may also want to look at the chapter contents and electronic textbook. Under the assignments tab, you'll notice the drop down menu is set to all assignments. I suggest you leave it set to all my assignments and then do the assignments in the order in which they appear. You'll also notice that there is only one day between the due dates for the various assignments in this Math 25 course. Math 25 is a six unit course. It's a very demanding course and you need to be able to work at a pace doing one homework assignment every night and completing it. You'll notice at the end of each chapter is a chapter quiz. These chapter quizzes can be retaken as many times as you like in order to get a good grade. The highest score counts. At the end of chapter 4 is the chapter 4 quiz, which is then followed the next day by the midterm exam. The midterm exam is online. It's open book. You can open and close the exam as many times as necessary to finish the exam. After the midterm exam, the due dates are not every day, but every other day because the material in these sections becomes more and more difficult. All of these due dates are completely flexible. They're not hard due dates. You may do any assignment after the due date and turn it in without penalty. You can also go back to assignments in which you have received a low score and redo those assignments after the due date without any penalty. You open an assignment by clicking on the assignment and then clicking on the first question. In doing the assignment, you'll notice at the bottom that there are help aids that you can use to do the particular problem in the homework. Under Get More Help, there is a video in some questions, as well as the link to the textbook pages that cover this particular question. The learning aid that I recommend using most frequently is the View an Example. And when you click on View an Example, you're given an example very similar to the problem that you're trying to do for homework. By clicking the Continue button, you go through the various steps of the explanation of how to solve this problem. When the Close button is all that you see here, you then have the option of going over to Print, and you can print this explanation in the form of an Adobe PDF, and by giving this a name and saving it to a folder on your desktop, you will then have explanations of problems in the homework. These explanations can then be used when you take the midterm and final exam or any of the quizzes. The quizzes, the midterm exam, and the final exam consists of problems taken directly from the homework. The other link on the left-hand navigation bar that you'll be using frequently is the gradebook. If you open the gradebook and you do not see the overall score, click on the down arrow to show the overall score. The percentage that you see is the percentage for the items that you have tried in the homework, quizzes, and tests. However, this percentage does not take into account the assignments that have not been attempted. So if at the end of the course, this says 90%, but you've only done half of the homework, quizzes, and perhaps none of the tests, then that 90% will change when the undone assignments are given a score of zero. To see how your score is calculated, click on the Show Calculation link. You'll see that the homework is worth 30 points, or 30% of your grade. The quizzes are worth 30% of your grade. And the tests, the midterm and the final, are worth 40% of your grade, 20% for the midterm and 20% for the final. So that's a brief overview of the MyMathLab learning management system that we'll be using. If you have any questions or run into any problems, please email me at robert.knight at evc.edu. Thank you and good luck in this course.